in the back, no strap in the backpack Just a bunch of trash, call Zach If we ever fell off in G5, that a ref TV That should be terror, but I'm up on MVP What's going on guys, Tabs here. Uh, today we're gonna be doing my official review on the Saline Arms International Blue BLU pistol. I believe it's based off the International Blue S or the Blue C. It's one of them, it's an actual training pistol. Uh, anyways, this is made by EMG, which is the Evike Manufacturer Group. I've played it uh, about, I played an entire day with this pistol, about seven hours, so I, I think I understand how it works pretty well. The pistol at hand we're going to be talking about today is this one here, and as you guys can see, I have an Olight PL2 Valkyrie on it. It's a quite nice pistol. Actually matches my watch now that I'm looking at it. But uh, we'll get into the pros, the cons, uh, if it's worth your money, and uh, yeah. So we'll hop right into that. Sorry if you guys can hear background noise, I am outside. So there are a few things to note about this pistol. One, the design. The design is very clean. I'll bring this up to you, you guys are gonna have to wait for autofocus. Not using my usual camera, but the design on this pistol is very clean. The uh, the kind of pre-done texturing, it's not real stippling, it's just a pre-made textures. It, it feels really nice, it's not too hard. Uh, it's not too soft. It does help with that grip. I do really love the M&P styled lower with the Glock frame, or sorry, the uh, Glock upper, the slide here. Um, I don't know if you'd call it a frame. I don't know if you'd call it a grip. People call it different things. I'm just going based off my own wording. I don't know. I'm not a professional. <laughs> Uh, the attachment options for the barrel are actually really nice. Uh, it does have a nice uh, thread here. So you guys can see the thread here. And this is one of those reverse adapters. So it's a little annoying sometimes to get on and off. I have mine really tight. But this is an actual uh, aftermarket little uh, threaded like protector here. The original one I'll show you. But that is the one that was on it. And as you can see, it does come with all the... Uh, the extension you need to uh, have different thread protectors. It's also a threaded inner barrel as well, which I really enjoy. So as you can see, this is the original one that came with it. It's uh, kind of like a nut design, if that makes any sense. So when you screw that on like this, that's how it would look. That's the default one. I like it, but I do think that this one is super loose. So that's one of the cons I want to point out is when you're shooting the vibration of this slide just destroys this thread protector it falls off super easy uh, and that's one of the main reasons I actually decided to replace it with this one other than that it fits uh, it fits tracers really well I got the mini tracer here the uh, X Cortec works really well and of course the ace tech lighter works perfectly uh, all you have to do is unscrew this and uh, you screw that on works absolutely perfect I do have a broken lighter though it no longer likes to turn off or turn on it's very very random regarding the attachment rail it's very nice you have uh, three different areas to uh, put your attachments on of course we have the Glock styled safety here with your actual unique part number I believe could be wrong uh, but they do give you three little slots here which are kind of useless just because like you can't really lock onto that as you guys can see here on the uh, the PL2 Valkyrie that I have there's the Glock little thing that has to attach right here so they give you three although only one is truly usable and then this just snaps on like that which is really nice another pro is the uh, SAI trigger is very very clean very very clean uh, and as you can see this is already getting loose not a huge fan of this if you're gonna use this I would suggest getting another a thread adapter uh, and what I would do is just lock tight this to this end and that's like literally the only way you're gonna get this one to stick on For some reason this one sticks on a lot easier and this is honestly just from a Atlas barrel this comes with a $60 barrel that actually came on this uh, barrel replacement, which is the uh, the Atlas 9 Very nice pistol build. I did show you guys that in one video. It does tear down Just like a Glock you just pull these two levers downwards and slide off boom very easy you guys will notice that this looks very familiar to the Armor Works, which I believe it is an Armor Works nozzle, uh, and their hop up unit I believe is the same as the Armor Works one. Uh, I do think the hop up is a little weak. Uh, I, I do have to go over and use it a little bit more, but I was noticing any anything over 30 feet, 35 feet was probably like it was a little hard to hit. The groupings weren't that great either with this pistol past about 25 feet ish, which I mean is more than enough. But, you know, for a pistol that's supposed to be the best of the best and pre-upgraded out of the box, you'd expect a little bit more. I will be modifying this pistol a little bit. I'm going to be going with a gold barrel 
and a gold muzzle brake, but I'll just put the pistol down for now and just go over some of the 100% pros that I actually really do enjoy about this pistol. The pros that I really do have for this pistol is the, uh, the, the Glock slide. It's completely interchangeable with WE and Bell. From what I've seen, I was able to put my Salient Arms International slide that was made for a Bell Glock onto the blue, and I was able to put the blue slide onto the Glock frame. So it works perfectly. It's completely inter interactable, compatible. Uh, the WE mags also work, and the action on this is a lot cleaner than like any of the pistols that you get stock, which is really great. Considering you are paying, I think it's like 180 US. For me over here in Canada, it was 319. The fact that it comes with all the thread adapters that you need to have any kind of barrel extension, like a tracer, etc., which makes gameplays like yesterday's upload possible, really great. The rail attachment's great, and it's a very crisp sight. I think I showed you guys the sight here. Sights are very clean, although this is a little loose because I fucked with it by accident. Uh, they are very clean. I would have liked white dots, to be honest with you, but I mean, it's so easy to pick that fiber up and I eventually will be putting a black RMR red dot on it anyways. The only cons that I've found with this pistol so far is the hop-up seems a little weak, which I already said. Uh, the grouping past like 25 feet is kind of all over the place, which I mean isn't horrible, but for a pistol that's supposed to be the best of the best out of the box, completely upgraded and stuff, you'd expect a little more from it. Uh, the barrel thread has this shitty design with the whole like reverse thread to normal threading. I wish they had a way to fix that or they gave you an option where the threading was all in one way so that you didn't have to lock tight, but I mean, it's not necessarily their fault. Uh, a lot of companies do this wrong, so, you know. Uh, and then the thread protector gets loose. I mentioned that at the start. Those are literally all the cons. The thread protector only gets loose, by the way, with this particular thread protector. The other ones that I've tried, like I said, have worked perfect. But that is my overall review. I will have more gameplay videos with this. I'll do one more little quick overview. It truly is a great pistol, and it's just so nice. You get those fibers lined up. Good to go. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. And again, guys, my name is Tabs or TDS Tabs, and you guys can find us on those weekly uploads. And I am out. Take it easy, boys.